Oh, hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we got another project for you guys today. So I decided to do something with some old stuff I had laying around. Uh, since I have a zero budget, so I had to make do with what I had. So um, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys are having good luck with your gardening and your projects. And without further ado, let's get over here and I'll show you what the heck I'm working on. So, you'll notice something is missing right here there was a grow bed here well I decided I wanted to move it and I added it to my solar powered aquaponics system ta-da now I did shoot a bunch of clips of me doing all the work but uh, uh, I don't have my laptop right now for doing video editing so I'm just having to uh, I just uh, did all the work and then uh, I'm doing the video now, so you can see what on earth I did here. The hard part was getting the bed over here. That thing weighs, uh, it's got to be 300 pounds. And had to do it by myself. So, uh, yeah, we got it moved over here. We got all the new plumbing attached. I did break off most of the old stuff when I moved it. So, here is the drain on this end. Um, I put the drain on this end so that the solar-powered pump didn't have to work so hard pushing water up and from this angle it looks like this pipe is curved maybe I'll have to look back at that oh, it is curved it's just not curved up I see the cinder blocks aren't uh, exactly straight that's all right I can fix that later I'm done working for the day I got all this stuff attached here with some strap and you can see the fill line going in there there in the back and then going up here and in right there. Um, I'm gonna raise this up a bit because when the pump turns off it might suck down some of this perlite. But it is working, there's water coming out. It's, uh, it's really foggy right now so it's gonna take a while to clear all that, ju that junk out of there. But so far so good. So I'm Utilizing both solar panels for two different systems. So one panel there connected to a pump and then the other panel is sitting up there for now. I just haven't attached it to anything. So uh, yeah, there we go. I am totally pooped. I had to cut and use the heat gun to expand some of the smaller pipes to fit into the other ones because I just didn't have the resources to uh, put proper connections in there in some places. In fact, we'll go back over and look at this, and you'll see what exactly what I mean here. So, there's some uh, vinyl tubing with hose clamps on it. Going to uh, three quarter inch elbow to three quarter inch, and then that goes over here to one inch. So the three quarter inch goes into this one inch pipe, and then one inch goes all the way down. And I did have at least one connector for it. And then an elbow in here. I'm probably gonna put two more elbow, one more elbow in there, and then uh, have it so it sprays water out and oxygenates the water. But we'll do that later. I've done working on this for today. All right, you guys. Ah, it is hot too. It is super duper hot. I need lots of water, and I need to eat some food. Um, yeah. You guys have any questions or comments? Pop those in down at the bottom, and uh, as always, keep building and try to be good to each other. We're not here for very long. We got some fish that can follow that advice. They're in here fighting. Stop it! I'm gonna take away some birthdays. <laughs>